లక్ష్మీ ప్రసన్న మీరు ఇంగ్లీష్లో ఆన్సర్స్ ఇవ్వదలుచుకున్నారా తెలుగా లేకపోతే ఇంగ్లీష్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఓకే ప్రసన్న గారు ప్లీజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ టు ద బోర్డ్ సార్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కే లక్ష్మీ అబౌట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అబౌట్ యువర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ అబౌట్ ఎనీ అదర్ ద వర్క్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ దెన్ ఫ్యామిలీ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ సార్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కే లక్ష్మీ ప్రసన్న ఐ వాజ్ బర్న్ బ్రాట్ అప్ అండ్ స్టడీ టిల్ మై టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ టంగుటూరు విలేజ్ నందలూర్ మండల్ ఆఫ్ అన్నమయ్య డిస్టిక్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ డిడ్ మై ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీ చైతన్య జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ తిరుపతి ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ డిడ్ మై గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ ఇన్ బీటెక్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ ఫ్రమ్ అన్నమాచార్య ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ సైన్సెస్ రాజంపేట మై గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ వాజ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ సార్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ వాజ్ మ్యారీడ్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ డ్యూ టు సమ్ ఫ్యామిలీ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దెర్ వాజ్ అ బ్రేక్ ఇన్ మై కెరీర్ ఐ వాంట్ టు రీస్టార్ట్ మై ప్రిపరేషన్ So I started preparing from 2018 onwards. Uh, in 2019, in Village Ward Secretariat exam, I got recruited as Panchayati Secretary. Currently, I am working as a Panchayati Secretary. I had given last 2018 group one notification, but unfortunately, I couldn't clear my mind. This is my first interview, sir. Oh, my father... Interesting. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. My father is a K. Subarai Dugaru. He is a retired APS RTC conductor. My mother is Srimati K. Saraswatham Magaru. She is working as a homemaker. Okay. Prasadagar, you are working as a Panchayat Secretary. Yes, sir. You joined the service which year? Sir, in 2019, October 9th. Okay. This Panchayat Secretary recruitment is through which board? Sir, it's a district selection committee. Through se- district selection yes. committee. Yes, sir. DSC. What is the, what is the level of that uh, Panchayat Secretary post? Sir, it's grade 5. Grade 5. Yes. Right. Okay. So, you mentioned that that is the executive authority yes sir yes sir why it is called uh, an executive post sir in the grassroots level all the gram panchayat resolutions are uh, decisions and plans of the village level are being implemented by the panchayat secretary as an executive person okay how this executive authority is different from enforcement authority సార్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అథారిటీ ఈజ్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద డెసిషన్స్ ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ అథారిటీ ఈజ్ ఓవర్ సీయింగ్ అథారిటీ ఐ థింక్ నో నో థింక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఓకే వాట్ ఆర్ ద అదర్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అథారిటీస్ ఇన్ పంచాయతీ రాజ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ సార్ ఎంపీడివో అట్ ద మండల్ లెవెల్ డిఎల్పివో అట్ ద సబ్ డివిజనల్ లెవెల్ అండ్ డిపివో ఈజ్ ద డిస్టిక్ లెవెల్ ఈజ్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అథారిటీ okay now at the district level who is the in charge district panchayat officer district panchayat officer what are the other uh, district level uh, government posts so it's a district collector district collector is it executive authority or enforcement authority so uh, it's an executive authority or for uh, and his subordinates he has a power of enforcement too mm, you know not clear okay now district level another post సార్ సూపరింటెండెంట్ ఆఫ్ పోలీస్ ఓకే ఈజ్ సూపరింటెండెంట్ ఆఫ్ పోలీస్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అథారిటీ ఆర్ ఏ ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ అథారిటీ సార్ బోత్ బికాస్ హీ హ్యాస్ ద పవర్ టు ఎన్ఫోర్స్ హీజ్ ఆర్డర్స్ ఆన్ హీస్ అబార్డినేట్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ క్లియర్ కట్ డిమార్కేషన్ బిట్వీన్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అథారిటీ అండ్ ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ అథారిటీ ఓన్లీ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ కంబైండ్ అట్ ద డిస్టిక్ కలెక్టర్ లెవెల్ దట్స్ ఆల్ అదర్వైజ్ ఎస్పి అండ్ ద పోలీస్ then um, M- mv inspector rto then excise super they are all enforcement authorities not executive authorities please go ahead the panchayat secretary versus village secretariat uh, how you are connected to village secretariat in amma pradesh sir I-, i recruited through village secretariat system only sir uh, deva panchayat secretaries who are recruited through group 3 group 3 recruitment and they ama is village secretary post is appointed through dsc or through or how they are appointed village secretaries so they conducted an exam with the dsc uh, in the name of uh, in uh, means they issued an appointment order are the government the... servants yes sir hmm? yes sir they are they pro- paid as a pay scale or a consolidated amount so earlier for two years of probation they paid consolidated amount of 15000 after two years of service they are regularized and yes. our probation yes. is declared 
ನಾವು ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿಯೇಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟ್ರಿ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಬಾರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನೈ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಜೇಷನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿಯೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲೆವೆನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನರೀಸ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಕನ್ವೀನರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಓ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟೇರಿಯೇಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನರೀಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ so you are the ddo convener for all this 11 wings of that village secretariat right so those people madam they work as subordinate to you right subordinate in the sense uh, you are the nodal officer for those yes hmm? what are those 11 wings sir there is a welfare and educational assistant for to implement all welfare related scheme there is a vo for revenue related issues there is a village surveyor for surveyor for survey related works there is a village agricultural officer village horticultural officer village sericultural officer energy assistant village fisheries assistant uh, there is engineering assistant sir uh, there is mahila police there is anm sir okay. and uh, what about primary health center this will also come under you that uh, as a nodal no no sir uh, p the anms who belongs to the phc uh, they work with means in coordination with us there was an am anm for each gram panchayat means for each secretariat okay so this village secretariat uh, how they are recruited you recruited through dsc so they also on the same process through dsc only they recruited sir. through dsc only yes. they are also recruited okay what about their uh, pay conditions and promotional listing everything is fixed everything is fixed sir they'll get the same uh, earlier uh, during the probation period we all paid 15000 uh, after the reg- regulation of service after probation declaration their pay scale is around like 900 difference between panchayat secretary and other functionaries on promotion they will read panchayat secretary portion no sir uh, they'll get uh, means they climb the ladder in their own departments like bro2 ri ri2 uh, for example madam uh, you have to volunteer system in andhra pradesh please explain what uh, what is uh, the system and uh, is it uh, a duplication of your work or uh, uh, is it helpful or uh, what's your opinion on it so volunteer system uh, for villages for every 50 households there will be a volunteer in wards for every 100 households they are responsible for uh, whatever the problems whatever the services the households require they'll bring those people to us we will serve them through the volunteers they are responsible for collecting all the documents are responsible for giving the all the services to the micro level sir they go by your uh, dictates or orders are uh, they over they go over you no sir they whenever we ask for any information or uh, any document or any information they'll they'll go to the households and they'll get that information what is Whenever, the total volunteer strength in antar on the any idea rough figure so i think it's around 3 lakh okay. i'm not sure. around 3 lakh yes sir. how much they they get the pay sir for every month they get honorarium of 5000 okay honorarium that means they are not regular government sir they are not regular government sir. okay there are as this question there are a lot of allegation against these volunteers they are they are working like a party workers taking the party's ideology to the house to house sir is, uh, is it has it come to your notice yes sir it came to my so notice so what action you is there any action initiated against because of because they are semi government servants a government servant is not supposed to participate in any party activities uh, what is your view on please so they shouldn't uh, propose to means they shouldn't work in, on the party lines they are being paid from the government exchequer they have to work as a service as their motive theory yes but, but any, any there was a prof- any complaints came to you what act- any complaints you received yes sir i okay. received what action you have i so i i asked that volunteer to come to me and i informed him like don't work on the party line be whoever may be the person i mean whoever may be the household serve them as it was highlighted by even our respected so that was not taken uh, uh, that was taken adversely against you by your senior how will you react respond to this type of situation 
if i means uh, i want to criticize them are you you informed that you should not do all these things then that person complain to your senior senior against you, you. so uh, till now that uh, doesn't happen but if it happens i will give some explanation to the mandal level officers sir. there I is also some... criticism right not only working for political parties there is also criticism that they are also resorting to corruption that you know only if you pay me certain so you you money. got in a ethical dilemma you know that their misdeeds it was brought to your notice and they were deliberately extending benefits to undeserving candidates mm-hmm. families because they are pro to one party so uh, this situation came to your how will you respond to this situation so basically when they brought out any documents or when they brought out any application for any scheme we will verify the beneficiary criteria then only we will apply it online just based on their own words we don't do that sir even all functionaries there is a fixed criteria even if if we apply any bogus beneficiaries for that the system won't accept because they'll take it returns they'll take uh, all other cards uh, they, they are going to like uh, clarify whether these people has land or not everything clarified before applying for a scheme sir okay after the bifurcation what are the challenges other places have been facing sir after the bifurcation uh, economic capital economic powerhouse hyderabad we lost sir and there is a dilemma where to situate the capital as of now and most of the revenue uh, combined andhra pradesh generate from the services sector now we don't have that much prominent services sector that's one of the biggest problem we face okay so you have a background in ict artificial intelligence all, uh, right so so uh, as a as a panchayati secretary do you think there is an increase in technology uh, is it a burden like everything has to be noted recorded so data collection is prioritized rather than using technology for empowerment what is your opinion on that so definitely technology to be incorporated in panchayati administration then only all the problems at the grassroots level can be eliminated now there is a problem of uh, like house tax collection if you if you take an example even there are certain secretaries they collect the tax instead of paying to the government they generate the fake bills and they they do the corruption in that level if we digitalize the entire process all the public money will go to the panchayat account that will be in turn will be hel- helpful for the panchayat so you did your uh, uh, like uh, btech in information technology please elaborate on the same question what type of technology information technology it can be adopted to eliminate corruption at panchayat you, level or normal preferably panchayat level because you have a bird side view right no, we can use the artificial intelligence as a technology how how uh, sir uh, in uh, gram panchayat level there is a program of gpdp gram panchayat developmental planning in that we will collect lots of development. developmental plan okay. so in that we collect lots of information yeah. uh, regarding financial resources requirements of the people uh, if we feed all the information to an ai system it will generate a best plan that is suitable to our requirements is, is it uh, adopted now no sir as of now it's not adopted it's an idea it means we can use it i'm saying applicability sir there is a lot of criticism uh, against adoption of artificial intelligence what is that criticism against this technology there is a ethical issue in adopting the artificial intelligence ai ai uh, technology so one of the criticism means it may result into job loss hmm? it may result into job loss job loss oh okay hmm. another criticism is um hum Okay. sir yeah. human human criti- human ability to judge to take the judgments cannot be done by a mission no. No. Sorry, sorry. yeah yeah go ahead you are saying job loss we have to update na in from uh, the person who are working in any industry uh, they should update uh, their skills exactly to what to be religions Yes, sir. Those who didn't update to the who didn't adapt to the new technologies, yeah, they will become redundant. So there was a crit- so it was a criticism. I'm saying it was a criticism, but it's a not like solid ground. It doesn't have a solid ground. That, that means the those persons who don't want to update their skills, 
So they say that because of artificial intelligence, we are losing our jobs. So what do you say? That means that is as good as the linear status quo. Uh, because this is a human mentality. This is not fact losing jobs. That is my opinion. What do you say? So AI doesn't lead to uh, job loss. Whenever a computer is invented, there was a same assumption. Like whenever computers come, all our jobs will last. But that doesn't happen. People learn how to handle the machines. Whenever we update to the new technologies, that definitely help us to improve the administration or governance. Okay. Like you, you started with uh, that AI adoption is possible because of the enormous data available, right? Yes. Hmm? So what is the ethical dilemma in, in this data? Okay. okay, before that, in how many areas? as on date, whether it is corporate or government. Okay, take the corporate, where AI is successfully adopted. Give one or two examples. Sir, chart GPT is one example. Chart GPT is one example. Where we can, we can use the multiple data in order to okay, come to a conclusion. An it's an chart application. application. Okay. Sir, for Google, Google, sir. Uh, whenever we search for anything, it will give, based on the AI technology, it will give the recommendations to us. Google search engine is one. There is an AlphaGo, uh, which with its in, in, with its imbibed intelligence has uh, uh, defeated a world chess champion. You see that movie? No, sir. I haven't seen. I heard of. Heard. One thing in Oriya first time, uh, in uh, news reader through AI. Yes. Sir. Okay, Oriya. Huh? A news reader, news anchor through AI, they reading the news. What is your opinion? Sir, so it's it's good to adopt the new technologies. And that's fine. How you respond? Uh, how you respond means you think it is a loss to your anchors, they are losing jobs. Uh, what is your opinion? Sir, so, uh, it might be a lead to some loss of anchors jobs, but they do have other fields. So, uh, all the manual related work need to be done by them only. So. All the preparation of that news. Only reading is done by admission. Why uh, Guardian and other newspapers are directly using AI to write articles. Full-fledged articles are written by AI. Journalists are losing their jobs. Even cinema writers, even creative writers. Creative the writers. latest uh, observation was a Hollywood cinema writers. Mm -hmm. They were an agit. You heard about that one? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I haven't heard, sir. But it's wide applications are there. They are have you, using. Have you ever used ChatGPT to yes. improvise your uh, copies? Yes, sir. I used you, it. I used you it. You found it uh, okay. So for some questions are for I I used to ask some topic related like subject related okay. questions. They'll give wide represent wide presentation like wider views. It will. I have one last question from my side. Like think about it. If AI technology blockchain everything is adapted very nicely is your job replaceable like will you be replaced with the technology why because in uh, in my own working if i need to do any critical judgment if i go to field and give an example work, one example so uh, an incident uh -huh. Okay, sir. Uh, in 2021, uh, November, there was a flood in my region uh, due to the uh, like washing away of the uh, ring band of Annamacharya Dam. During that time, I was there and I distributed like all essential based on their conditions. Like I used my judgment there based on their conditions. I worked. In, I work. I did. I did my field job. So in those those cases where critical human judgment is required. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What kind of uh, sanitation works you do? How do you uh, manage waste uh, in your place? Sir, actually we do, like we have um, um, sweepers, like uh, sanitation workers. Every day they, in the morning, they do door-to-door -door, uh, waste collection. They segregate it and uh, they do the composting. We have composting pits mm -hmm. located. Okay. Yes. In my gram panche, there was a composting pits. Are you generating any compost out of it? Are you uh, for commercial aid? Basically, we are not generating it, sir, but waste collection and uh, um, keeping those waste in those pits was happening. Uh, at how, uh, household level you have or as a unit you have? 
we have the units sir we have the units thank you ma uh, you can you can take feedback munch another one you want to you, is there anything you want to ask ask the board or after the feedback sir uh, for national level issues uh, sir i have one question like for ap related especially if the judge, if they ask for a negative feedback can i give there are certain issues like um, ap lo uh, gram panchayat ko chey 20 funds mottamu uh, electricity boards ki government transfer chesin sir that's again is the establishment of the gram panchayat alanti time lo nen ela justify cheyali ignore cheyali ignore cheyali meeru meeru okay uh, controversial against the government policy decisions it is the government decision like i read in the newspaper sir i have nothing to say on that simple thing don't offer your personal view about the government policy decisions so that decision is taken at the highest level funds diversification happens with very at the very highest level not only here in government of india very rarely it happens the the there is a separate uh, what you call this oversight agency called audit the cag auditing team they five they uh, point out if there is any randy if there is any funds diversification from meant for project a diverted to project b this will be reflected in the audit audit reports so you mention says that sir i don't know but i'm very sure there is a independent oversight body called audit party audit party will definitely bring it and it will be placed before the assembly public accounts committee pac is that it will see any how they will submit report you say like that alandi they don't ostey ganaka only thing is i read in the news what it's it's the policy decision so even even the judiciary also generally won't interfere in the policy decisions taken by the government whereas a policy decision has to be implemented through a transparent procedure that procedure can be challenged before the court not the policy decision per se there is so as a government servant you and me we cannot criticize the policy decisions of the government yes we follow due process of law that's why uh-huh. no the courts follow due process no no no, no 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 uh, you are a government servant sir. you are duty bound to implement the government policy okay, full stop full stop that is as simple as that those who the funds diverted from this department to electricity department the md cmd of the electricity department is duty bound to accept the funds and implement they can so you how can you divert that funds belong doesn't belong to us you have no authority to question the wisdom of the government clear okay now one point is 2009 lo meer panchayat secretary ga join ayyaru 19 sir actually so 2009 it's 19 nen correction chesi ichcha no no parlu okay okay you may note it down but అయితే ఇప్పుడు రెండు వేల పంతొమ్మిది మీరు ఫస్ట్ ఏమంటుందంటే బోర్డ్ మైండ్లో ఒక డౌట్ వస్తుంది ఆల్రెడీ గవర్నమెంట్ సర్వీస్లో ఉన్నారు కదా మళ్ళీ గవర్నమెంట్ సర్వీస్ ఎందుకమ్మా ఇది ఏంటి దీంట్లో ఏంటి దాని గురించి మీ ఆలోచన మీరు ఏమైనా ఆలోచించారా ఇంకొక మనకి చాలా లాట్ ఆఫ్ అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ ప్రాబ్లం ఉంది మరి మీరు మంచి మనస్సు దీన్ని వదిలేసేస్తే వేరే వాళ్ళకి మరి అవకాశం ఇచ్చిన వాళ్ళు అవుతాం కదా Okay, Every individual has a natural instinct to grow in his career. That's right. So, mm-hmm. the, 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 the scope grade, of work... It's grade 5. Actually, this is the grade 5 job. Okay. This is a group 1 service. This is a state level post. If you want to compare this, first point is that the level is different. Level is different. Recruitment method is totally different. That is a district level recruitment. This is the state level state recruitment. Level. ఓకే గ్రేడ్ డిఫరెంట్ రిక్రూట్మెంట్ ప్రాసెస్ టోటలీ డిఫరెంట్ తర్వాత ఏమో ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ క్వాలిఫైడ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఎగ్జామ్ లైక్ సో ఐఎమ్ వెరీ షూర్ లైక్ ఐఎమ్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఐఎమ్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ సర్వీస్ లైక్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ ఓవర్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ అనేది అలా రాదు బట్ ఏమంటారంటే సార్ ఇట్స్ ఎ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఎస్ గవర్నమెంట్ జాబ్ ఉన్నది ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ మీన్ దట్ ఐ లైక్ సో ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ ఎలిజిబుల్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇట్స్ అ స్టేట్ లెవెల్ పోస్ట్ 
I will never be able to panchayat secretary in chief or department. You will never be able to become a gazetted officer. The level which correct. That is sufficient. And then just to unnerve you on that. And the guy tell it. I am going to do it. My Abraham Matlo hierarchy of needs. Actually, sir. Abraham Matlo hierarchy of needs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every human being, I am going to career. Lo mandri ball. Basic, sir. I want to grow in my career. Yes, sir. तरह तो मैं मैं कोर एजुकेशनल कॉम्पिटेंसी चूज़ तो मैं इनफॉरमेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस अन्ना रो ऑर्गेनाइज़ेड इस सिंपल जो मानिकड़ मेरे मेंशन चेस सर काबर्टी इधी मैं एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के अलावा वार्ड तारु मेरे अपना वार्ड आ रही पड़ा ऑलरेडी का पंचायत ले अपन उन even the adoption of AI is not the government, the government is not the government. There is a huge ethical dilemma in the country. You have said that data, that data is not the authenticity of the authenticity. You have said that the village secretary is a volunteer. They are asking for the village to ask for the village. That is called authenticity. So there is no verification mechanism. If you have AI decision making, you have to do it. Because the data is not authentic. अधो का बिग इश्यू आने मारता है दिन तो मैं मैं आईटी वेरिफिकेशन एडॉप्शन मात्रा मेरे बागा प्रिपेयर है वाला आंध्र प्रदेश लो आईटी के संबंध में इंचरे वेंटेड स्कीम सुनाई आंध्र प्रदेश सक्सेसफुल का ये गवर्नेंस तो मदल बैठ कौन मेको ई सेवा केंद्र आस्था करने चाहिए टेक्नोलॉजी वाड़े � आरे आरे एक नेक्स्ट टू गोड़ ची मेरो एक्चुअल का नेर कंफ्यूज है कांडरेट ट्रेड का जॉब लॉस है सेंटर वक्त सारे आउट नो वक्त कादन आए अकड़ ये नहीं है सर इतने पंद्रह रुपए उन्नता ही कहाँ को जाए अडाप्ट जस्ट कोनी मली ये लोग वाला मतलब अकड़ इधर इतना दिन अकड़ जा वक्त सारे अपना रंडा उन्नो ना बिल इंकोटेटा एप्पर इंटरव्यू एप्पर मिली नाइंथ सर नाइंथ ओके सेवेंथ एट्थ नाइंथ रोज कोड़ा पेपर्स ये ना डूनों ने साक्षी रेंड हिंदू पेपर्स होता है ना सर ये पी कहीं तो हिंदू वो दो मेरे तेलगी चादर ये पी कहीं तो मोस्टली आर्टिकल्स हैं ना पेपर है तो ये पी सेपरेट क्यों चादर मेर मेर ये ना डे चादर कंपल Indonesia <laughs> तरवाता मार्क डबल रात लेते सरे नट वाले दिन की असलो पेंच अन्य इच्छा रहने मारती थी आर्टिकल अच्छी नहीं दिन में दर्दू तरह निकालो कहने सड़न का वो का मेंबर हो इरोज़ आधे पे पर चादवे से ऐसी इन्दु पर उन्हें चर मारती थी शो अच्छी नहीं मारती दिन लो ये दिच पाल ये दिच पकड़ दिया आर्टिकल चौ पूर्ति का पट्टू परिसर में आधार पड़े ना वर्ल्ड पदलक्षण मंदे आंध्र प्रदेश लो तरह ता उत्पत्ति अंतुन ये इन्वेस्टर नाल वन्दर टनुलु अच्छे तो के साप विस्तीर्ण ना वन्दे आनंद परम लो नाल भय इन्द्र बेलु तरह ता चित्तूर लो ना नाल भय रे बेलु एकरालो उन्दे टा इन तो वर्क फैक्चुअल इनफॉरमेशन � 
మూడేళ్లకు ఒకటి పాయింట్ యాభై లక్షలు రావాలి గతంలో పద్దెనిమిది పద్దెనిమిది వందలు చెల్లిస్తే ఇప్పుడు పదివేల విలువైన బ్లీచింగ్ వస్తున్న మందులు ఎవరు ఇవ్వట్లేదు ఇది క్రిటిసిజం అగేన్స్ట్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ అది మీరు ఇగ్నోర్ చేయాలి ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ ఇంప్రెస్ అపాన్ యూ అనమాట ఏది చదివినా సరే దాంట్లో ఫ్యాక్చువల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎంత ఉంది ఒపీనియన్ ఎంత ఉంది వీడు ఒపీనియన్ ఈనాడు ఇచ్చిన ఒపీనియన్ ప్రభుత్వాన్ని వ్యతిరేకంగా ఇచ్చిన మీరు దాంట్లోకి వెళ్ళద్దు మీరు ఎన్ని చదివినా సరే తెలుగే చదవండి మామూలుగా అట్లీస్ట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ కోసమే చదవండి హిందూ రీజనల్ కి సంబంధించిన ఇష్యూస్ ఉండవు హిందూ కానీ అది మిగతా పేపర్లు అందుకని చదవాలి అంటే జస్ట్ అంటే మీరు ఫ్యాక్చువల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎంత మీ దగ్గర ఉంటే మీరు నాన్ కాంట్రవర్షియల్ గా ఉంటారు ద మూమెంట్ పొలిటికల్ ఒపీనియన్ మీరు తీసుకొచ్చారు అంటే కాంట్రవర్షియల్ అవుతుంది అనమాట బోర్డు మెంబర్స్ మే నాట్ లైక్ ఇట్ అడ్జస్ట్ ఐ వాంట్ ఇంప్రెస్ అది ఇండియా ఏఐ డాట్ జిఓవి డాట్ ఇన్ అనే వెబ్సైట్ ఉంటుంది గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అఫీషియల్ ఏఏ వెబ్సైట్ అది దాంట్లో ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అని కొట్టండి ఏమేమి చేస్తున్నారో జస్ట్ ఒక ఐడియా కోసం కీప్ అయినాయి అంతే ఎందుకంటే స్పెషల్ గా మీరు ఏఐ అని మెన్షన్ చేశారు అది అప్డేటెడ్ చూడాలి మరి ఆ వెబ్సైట్ అప్డేట్ అవుతుంది అప్డేట్ అవుతుంది సాఫ్ట్వేర్ లేటెస్ట్ ఈస్ బెటర్ మీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ లో ఎంతమంది ఉమెన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఉన్నారమ్మా పంచాయతీ దీంట్లో మీరు చేసే దాంట్లో ఉమెన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ మా సచివాలయం మీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ లో అంటే నేను వర్క్ చేసే సచివాలయంలో ఉన్నా సార్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ లైక్ టెన్ మెంబర్స్ ఉమెన్ ఉన్నారు సార్ మా దాంట్లో ఫార్చునేట్ దీంట్లో ఉమెన్ పంచాయతీలో చేస్తున్న ప్రాబ్లమ్ సాధక బాధకాలు ఏంటి మీకు స్పెసిఫిక్ ఉమెన్ స్పెసిఫిక్ ఇష్యూస్ ఏమైనా మీ నోటీస్కి వచ్చాయా అనేది చూసుకోండి అనమాట ఓకే ఇంటర్వ్యూ కోసం అనేది మీరు మీరు అబ్జర్వ్ చేసింది అనమాట ఇబ్బందులు వస్తూ ఉంటాయి మాకు ఏంటి ఎలాంటి ఇబ్బందులు వస్తాయి పంచాయతీ దీంట్లో చేసి అది పోలీసులు కూడా అది అడుగుతాం మేము అనమాట మామూలు పోలీసులు ఉమెన్ పోలీసు గురించి స్పెసిఫిక్ గా ఇష్యూస్ వస్తాయి అలాగే ఉమెన్ ఇన్ గవర్నమెంట్ సర్వీసెస్ లో మీకు అలాంటి ఇష్యూస్ ఏమన్నా ఉన్నాయా సెవెంటీ థర్డ్ సెవెంటీ ఫోర్త్ అమెండ్మెంట్ కి థర్టీ ఇయర్స్ అయింది సో పంచాయత్ కాబట్టి జస్ట్ ఊరికి ఒకసారి అట్లా చూసుకోండి సర్పంచ్ పతి బేసిక్ గ్రామ పంచాయత్ మీ కోర్ డొమైన్ కాబట్టి మీరు చెప్పేస్తారు స్టిల్ ఒకసారి వీలైతే చూసుకోండి మీరు ఏపీ స్కీమ్స్ అన్ని ఒకసారి చూసుకోండి అది ఒకసారి తయారు చేసాం మంజుగారు గారు ఇచ్చాం గ్రూప్ లో పెడితే ఓకే అలాగే ఏపీ సోషియో ఎకనామిక్ సర్వే అది కూడా దాదాపు ఇరవై ఐదు పేజీలు మెటీరియల్ పెట్టాం ఫర్ ఎయిటీ ఎకనామిక్ లాగా అలాగే చెక్ లిస్ట్ లాగా ఏమేమి కరెంట్ అఫైర్స్ చదవాలి ఏంటంటే ఏపీకి సంబంధించింది అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ప్యానల్ లో వచ్చిన తర్వాత రాము గారితో కన్సల్ట్ చేసి తయారు చేసాం ఒకటి కళ్యాణ విస్తారం మీకు మీరు పుట్టిన దగ్గర రాజంపేట నందలూరు మండలం ఓకే రాజంపేట దగ్గర కూడా అన్నమయ్య అక్కడ వాడి కాబట్టి కొంచెం వీడితే తాళపాక అన్నమయ్య చూసుకోండి మీరు చదివిన కాలేజీ కూడా ఏఐటిఎస్ కాబట్టి అన్నమాచార్య ఇక్కడ టూ థౌసండ్ థర్టీన్ అండి అదే అదే అన్నమాచార్య అక్కడ ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి ఒకసారి చూసిన ఎక్కువ చూసిన ప్రయత్నం చేయండి సార్ అంటే అంత మంచిగా ఉండదు నిగమ నిగమాంత వర్ణిత మనోహర రూప నగరాజరుడ శ్రీ నారాయణ నారాయణ శ్రీమన్నారాయణ సంకేతం చూసుకోండి సార్ థ్యాంక్స్ థ్యాంక్స్